I think it's a perfect essential. Are comedies like this, is that a favorite genre of yours? I do love comedies. Uh -huh. I need comedies, but I like I like dramas. I I yeah. I know you're pretty well rounded with all that. I like I like a little bit of everything. Variety uh -huh. is the spice of life. Uh -huh. um, but when I you know when I see a film like it happened one night, it it um, it reaffirms uh, that I think you also need a great discipline in filmmaking. You know, you really want a great story and great actors and great mm -hmm. directors. And even if it seems like it may not all come together, there's a reason that it did. Mm -hmm. um, and, and someone like Frank Capra was behind it, doing his due diligence all the time and making sure that it came together. Um, and when it does, it's, you know, it's not by accident. Right. And, uh, and you can see all the hard work that goes into it, um, and yet it feels, you know, rather carefree. But the way this movie starts and kicks off, you know, you, you see Claudette Colbert and her father, and she's just such a firecracker, and she's got such a particular way about her, and I think that writing is so important to establish who it is that you're going to get behind, fall in love with, get involved in their world, ensconced, invested. Um, and, you know, when you meet Clark Gable and he's drunk at that phone booth and, you know, you're just thinking, what a rascal, you know. Um, I think that establishment of characters and actors who can really bring you through the journey is so key. Yeah. And we should give credit to Robert Riskin for the screenplay, because that had a lot to do with it and in this case. I think it's so good and it's so smart. And I think the word I keep having come to mind when I think of this film is how quality mm -hmm. it was. Mm -hmm. um, it was such a, a well-made movie. Yes, it's a lovely movie. We should also point out, for those who aren't aware of it, that when Clark Gable took off his shirt and he didn't have a T-shirt on underneath, that was purely by accident because they wanted him to show some skin in there to make it a little more scandalous that they were about to be sleeping in the same room together. And they couldn't get him to take the T-shirt off easily without mussing the hair and all that. So they just had him leave the T-shirt off. And it totally ruined the T-shirt industry for years. Because when people saw Clark Gable had no T-shirt on. That's what I heard. Underneath, nobody bought T-shirts. Guys, because it wasn't obviously, wasn't cool anymore. That is uh, the amazing power yeah. of cinema. Well, let's move on. And do please join us again next week as we bring you another movie we think is an essential. Gun Crazy. I knew this wasn't made for much money, but it's a much more polished film than I expected. John Dahl is really handsome and charming in this film. Piggy Cummins was one of the really great women of film noir. I think the characters in this film have that great magnetic passion. From 1950, Gun Crazy. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Edward G. Robinson has Gene Arthur seeing double in The Whole Town's Talking. Then Gene finds goodness in Gary Cooper when Mr. Deeds goes to town. And TCM Underground adjusts the dial for Border Radio.